While the sections nearest to it have been fixed, the Unitec Bumayong Road has been allowed to deteriorate over 30 years. It's taken one full term of government to end without any action. Now, a new group of politicians are reigniting the discussions over the Unitec Bumayong Road. But I'm not going to try to put the blame on everyone. It is a collective thing. It is within our city. I'm going to do my best to work with the Department of Works. This is an example of the bureaucratic inefficiencies that exist within the government system. The road is the responsibility of the National Department of Works. According to them, funding has been approved, but the actual money hasn't been released. Some roads that come under the Department of Works and some that come under the uh, city authority or the city council. The one, the main trunk roads come under the Department of Works, so that means Works Department maintains them. It is not the city council's responsibility to maintain. Everyone blames the city council or uh, the district or the member to uh, fix it. But it By the end of this term of government, if no work has been done, it'll be another 10 years of neglect. The people who live along this road are angry. Same road is established in some like this come now. The man win na go to him ni na tindi na sa street sa road to primary school life pumi ka ng high school na wata miranos la road eh ilaw mi big la man win sa Morobi Governor Ginson Saunu says he will raise the matter in Parliament, but whether this stretch of road will be given priority depends on the national government. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Lay.